Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you guys how I blur my wallpapers for the home screen on my device. A lot of people ask me, you know, how do you blur the wallpaper to give it that really nice look? And I'll show you guys. It's really simple. It's just an app from the App Store. It's called Blur Create Custom Wallpapers. I'll leave the actual um, application link in the description for you guys, the iTunes link. That way you can just click on it on your device and it'll jump you to this application in the App Store. I'm sure there's a million other apps that do this same thing, but this is just personally what I use. So let's go ahead and let's go into the Blur app. Go ahead and launch it. And it's really, really simple how it works. And I really enjoy using this application. So just click on the left hand button there, and then it will allow you to choose existing or take photo. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit outdated. The UI looks like it's for the smaller iPhones, uh, which it doesn't really matter to me because it still all works the same. So I'm going to go into all photos and let's say we want to uh, blur, let's blur this wallpaper right here. So just select whatever photo you want to blur and then you do have a slider which allows you to adjust the blur amount which is really nice. So you can have it incredibly blurry as you can see it makes it almost completely smooth looking. You can have it just a little bit blurry. Basically just adjust it to whatever you think looks best. Uh, and this is what the app that I've used to do uh, some of the wallpapers in like my best setup videos. So if I scroll up, let's do the the Joker wallpaper, which everybody knows. Uh, so this is what you can use to basically blur this wallpaper. Now, unfortunately, you can't actually swipe on the screen to resize it or anything like that. Uh, so we'll just blur it. I don't know, maybe something like that looks kind of cool. Click on the check mark. It'll take it a second to load here, and then it says blur saved. So it's basically saved into your photos now, and that's pretty much it. A incredibly simple app. Uh, and that's just what I use for those of you that have asked me, you know, how do you blur wallpapers on your iPhone? So that is it again. It's called a blur. I will leave the iTunes link for the application down in the description But anyways, if you guys found this video useful, definitely throw me a thumbs up That helps me out a lot here at the channel and if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future Don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy and I'll catch you guys in the next one later